Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Good. Did you have a nice day today? Yes. Excellent. Good. What about you, Yolanda? Did you have a nice day today? You're muted, Yolanda. You're <laughs> mute. Sorry. <laughs> Did you have a good day? Yes, I, I, I had a, a good day, but very busy. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, good. Thank God you're busy. Yes. Many people God. wish they were busy. Yes, you're right. Yep, yep. Maria, Flor, Corey, George, welcome back. Thank All you. All right, what time is it? Good evening. Good evening, George. What Nine time is it, people? Nine, 9 p.m. Yes. What time is your life skill training? Yeah. What Hello. time is your life skill training? Uh -huh. Okay, let, let, let me put it in the in the chat. Uh, life skill training. Uh huh. What's a life skill training? Uh huh. Ah. I think every every moment. Okay. Okay. Re remember that I told you the first day of class that English is not a subject. English is a life skill. Yeah. Right? Right. Can English change your life? Yes, it can. Yes. Can English improve your life? Yes, yes. it can. Yeah. So it, it's not a subject. It's a life skill. It's a life skill. Right. All right. Anyways, um, thank you for being punctual. What's today's date? August 12th. August 12th. How do you spell 12th? 12th. Uh -huh. D -W -D -W -E -D -H. Are you sure? Are you sure? Let, let, let me put it in the chat. You say, I have 12 books, I have 12 uh, pants, 12 pairs of pants, I got 12 dictionaries. That is cardinal. But Perfect. when we're talking about uh, dates, we use ordinals. 12. But I eat. 12. Uh, yes. So there is a small change that you need to make yeah. you eliminate ve right. and then you put um yes. f and then you put th at the end so today is the 12th august 12th yes all right so welcome back um remember the topics we covered yesterday we talk about the, the simple present Right, we spoke about the simple present. What is the function of the simple present tense? What's the function? Talk about the activity is doing right now. Uh, right now, are you sure? Right now, in the, in, moment. The in the moment. In the moment, are you sure? Is the simple present to talk about actions in the moment, actions now, or actions that happen all the time? Yes. Which one is correct? All the time. All the time. I live in Lourdes, I'm 49 years old, I have five children, so I'm giving you general information. If I want to talk about actions that are in progress or actions that are happening mm -hmm. right now, I need to use the present continuous. Present perfect. Okay, yes. Exactly. All right. Now, let me ask you, can you use the simple present and the present continuous for future uh, messages, for future meanings? 
Can you? Um, no, future. It has will. Right. We're it's not going to. Okay, yes. You use will and you use going to. That is correct. How do you say estoy ahorrando dinero? I am uh, saving money I, now. I am saving money. I'm saving money. Okay, good for you. Congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Now, if I ask you, how do you plan to buy a car? How do you plan to buy a car? Voy a ahorrar dinero. So when you're talking about plans, you're talking about future. So how yes. do you plan to buy a car? I'm saving money. Yes. Voy a ahorrar dinero. So when you want to use the simple present or the present continuous for a future meaning, it's necessary that you mention the time expression. Got it? Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you say voy a visitar a mi sobrino? I'm going, I'm going to, to visit, visit, to visit my, my cousin. My nephew. My uh, nephew. My now, nephew. how do you say that? How do you say that using the present continuous? I'm visiting my nephew. I'm visiting my nephew. Visiting. Exactly. So what plans do you have for vacation? Vacation is in the future. So he says, I'm visiting my family. I'm visiting my nephew. I'm visiting my niece. So mm -hmm. you can use present continuous. You can use simple present for future messages but it's necessary that you include a time expression. Any questions or comments about yesterday? No? no. Okay. Now, do you remember the, the simple past tense? What is the function of the simple past tense? Um. Talk about something that you did in the past. Something about you did in the past. Something that you did and finished in the past. I was born in 1971. That simple past. I did my first communion when I was nine years old. That simple past. I graduated from high school in 1990. That simple past. So the simple past makes reference to actions that happen in the past and finish in the past. There's no connection uh, with the present. Um, what's the auxiliary you use to make questions? We use did. Did, only did? Did. did. Pregúntel, pregúnteme si yo estuve aquí ayer. Did you? Were you? Were you? Yeah. Were you here yesterday? Yeah. Were, you? Were you here yesterday? Yes. So remember, you use did when mm. you're talking about actions. You use was and were when you're talking about conditions. Okay. So how do you say estuvo frío hoy? It was cold today. It was cold today. Yeah. Is that an action or a condition? Condition. A condition, right. Um, I was sick yesterday. Action or condition? Condition. condition? condition. So remember, if you're talking about actions, you will use auxiliary did. When you talk about conditions, you will use was or were. Was or were. Any questions? Now, what are the other form? How many, how many tenses do we have? 12 tenses. 12. 12 tenses. Every tense has a particular structure. Every tense has a particular function. Mm -hmm. um, which other scenarios do we use the simple past in? We saw Second those two topics. Second conditional. Exactly. Second conditional and How do you say, si yo fuera al parque? If I were if I if I to, park. to the park. If I went to the park. So I use the simple past of, of go, which is went, right? Mm -hmm. Si yo estuviera en México, how do you say that one? If I, if were, I was in... If I were... Yeah, were. If I were in Mexico, yeah. mm -hmm, right? How do you say, si usted fuese yo? If you, if you were, me. were me. If you were me, or if you were I, or if I were you, if I were you. 
Remember that when we're using the second conditional, was does not exist. Yeah. You only use were mm -hmm. for everybody. If she were here, if yeah. he were the president, so you have to use were when you're using second conditional. And what is the other scenario when you um when you use the simple past tense? Express wishes. Express wishes. Yes. Desearía que estuviera helado. How do you say that one? I wish, I wish, I wish it, were, it, it, were, it were cold. 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 Exactly. So imagine you're in San Miguel. It's very hot. <laughs> so you, you tell to your to yourself, I wish it were cold. I wish it were cold. Yep. Yeah. You see, George, George is at the beach right now. I wish I were at the beach like George. You see him? Yes. The better life. Yeah, the best <laughs> life. <laughs> All right. Questions about wishes or second conditional? So usually when you study the simple past tense, you study how to make questions, how to say negatives, how to say positive things, the differences between regulars and irregulars. Once you understand the simple past, then you can talk about wishes. Then you can talk about second conditional because you're a master with the, uh, uh, with the simple past. Questions or comments? No. no? Okay, so let me show you this. Share screen. <laughs> what are these questions? I was having connection problems with uh, with the previous group. I hope it doesn't happen again with you guys. Okay, can you see the questions? Yes. 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 All right, let me see this here. So when you answer these questions, try to give accurate structures. What is the meaning of accurate? Uh, correcto. Exactly, exactly. So what did you do yesterday? Oh, yesterday I visited. Yesterday I worked. Yesterday I finished. So everything has to be accurate. What time did you go to bed last night? What is the past tense of go? When. 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 Exactly. Exactly. So I went to sleep at, and then you, um, all right. Did you receive the questions in the WhatsApp chat? Yes. All right. So use that. Um, let's see if I can share this. Um, right. Yeah. Paste. No, it doesn't. All right. So let me let me assign you. Let me put you together with with a friend of yours. Remember, if your friend is not responding for whatever reason, please let me know. Here we go. Okay. Uh -huh. This is the time for you to uh, practice the language. All right. So here we go. Practice your fluency and your accuracy. Okay. If you want to take a screenshot, go ahead.
my god yeah. it's sad but it's true to... <laughs> yeah it's so early yes I, I got up at seven seven, seven. i nice yeah. okay <laughs> I'm off it. That was good. Yeah. And today I uh, I, I did home office. It's good. And then you can sleep sleep much. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. I it's like good. that. Oh. Is it relaxed? <laughs> and where do you work, Kaylee? In IRS. Oh, IRS. Oh, good, good. I thought that um, everybody was working uh, presential, like face-to-face -face in the office. No? It depends of the... Of the Department? Cargo, do you say? Of your position? Or, the, or, the, or your position because uh, I am an engineer. Uh-huh. System uh, engineer? System engineer and the kind of uh, of job that I do, uh, we do, we do, uh, don't require the precession. Exactly. So you can solve problems remotely. Yeah, and Good. the other requirement like um, uh, at. Attention, how do you say? Customer service? Customer, Customer service. service need to be there. Right, right. Okay, good. What about you, Maria? Okay, I, I work in uh, I, I have to. You're a go. teacher, right? No, I am an auditor. Oh, right, right, right. Yes. Okay. Um, is, is my work is a uh, requiring my my presence, uh, presence. Yes. right right yeah yeah when you're an auditor you have to be physically there <laughs> yeah it, it's mandatory uh yes that is auditors um uh, frequently, frequently, uh -huh. frequently yeah yes. yeah frequently uh, we are we we uh, people hate us yeah <laughs> One time, I, I don't know if I mentioned this to you, I was the translator for some auditors. And, and basically, you know, wh what they were telling me to translate was like, man, this guy is saying that they stole money, you know? <laughs> so I said, look, I'm just doing the translation job. I'm not saying anything, but you know? So I feel a little bit bad. <laughs> okay. So yeah, some people hate uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. auditors because uh, because of the nature of the work. Yes, most of, of people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later. We'll ask you. We can yes. participate. Yes, uh, Jenny. What did Jenny. you do that yesterday? Aha, uh -huh, Jenny. What did you do? Hi. Hi, evening, teacher. Hello. What did you do? And yesterday I went my work. Uh huh. Where is your work, Jenny? Jenny, Jenny. Hi. Where is your work? Um, Export Salva. Uh, Lourdes. Yes. Lourdes. Do you live in Lourdes? No, I live in, in Sonsonate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. I travel every day. Uh huh. So you're happy with the construction of the new road with the Claudia Larza Street? New Street? Yes. yes. Good. When are they supposed to finish uh, that construction? Do you know? Mm, the construction the... of the new road of Claudia Lars. I don't know. Uh, in Armenia? 
I don't know. When they finish everything completely, mm -hmm. maybe okay. next year? Probably. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but I don't know. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let me visit another room. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Perfect. Um, another question. Did you do, no, uh, did you watch uh, TV yesterday? If yes, what did you watch? Ah, uh, no. Yesterday, yesterday I, I didn't, I didn't watch TV. Uh, I, I only, I only see the series on my cell phone or on. Oh. Hello, how are you? Hi, Peter. Adrian. Hi. Were, were, were you here yesterday, Adrian? Yes, but I couldn't turn on the camera because I uh, I was not in my room, so I couldn't. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. good. All right, how was your day today? My day, it was... Normal? Uh, Normal, yes, normal. Busy. Okay. <laughs> okay, what about you, Lorraine? How was your day? Well, today I have some people that went to that come to my house to to repair to paint my my tawang. How do you say tawang? Your what? Tawang, tawang, portón. Oh, the gate. The gate. Okay. The gate. They were painting that. What they... What color did they use? Black. Black. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And what and what color is your inside of the house? It's, well, I have a, a lot of colors. It's okay. Like blue, light blue and green and a rainbow. Yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have money to paint all the house, no? Then right. I only want going to change the the the, the dining room or or my exactly. Room. Exactly. And it's nice. I like it. Yeah, good. You know, I, I'm, I, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm buying like one gallon at a time. So yeah. one gallon, I said, okay, three walls for, for okay. one gallon. Okay, and yeah. then when I have money again, I buy another gallon and I continue painting. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, way. Yeah, because paint is, uh, the, the good paint is not cheap. It's expensive. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, I use Corona or something like that because it's easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard uh, American colors of, they sell it in, in, in uh, Lemos hardware store. That, that no, I um, no not, not really, no, but I think it, American are like, it's like blue, red, and white, no. No. Uh, all the colors, all the colors. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the name of the brand, like uh, Sherwin Williams Corona American Colors. It's uh, American Colors is the brand. Yeah, it's the brand. Oh, okay, I think. Yeah, it's the brand, oh, okay. and uh, oh, okay. uh, you know, one gallon is fourteen dollars, I think. Fourteen, one gallon. Really? Yeah, but if you don't mix it, if you don't mix it with water, it's 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 good quality. It's good quality. But Sherwin Williams is $30, $35. Yeah, that's expensive. No, I, I use Corona or, or, <laughs> or it's a cheaper one. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. All right, let me visit another room. Okay. See you. All right. Hey, now, were you happy yesterday? If yes? I. <laughs> I go to copy around the, the 8, 8 p.m. This yesterday, I was uh, very, uh, very, very, very busy. What did you do, Vladimir? Um, in the night? Uh, at night. Uh, at night. In, at night. Is uh, is busy, busy, ocupado. Busy, yeah, busy, busy, busy. Uh, llevando, ¿cómo dice? Taking, 
taking the, the, the computers for the, uh, my work at a other, other place in the night. Because, at night. At night. Because uh, I, I, I work in uh, Arvinar, you say? You, you what? Please repeat. I I I I have uh, in the in the at the night uh, the computers for my work, my job uh -huh. for at other place because in the other place uh, they broke they broke they they broke they broke. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, okay, good. And what was the distance from one place to another? Excuse me? What was the distance from one place to another? I don't know. I don't understand the, the, the question. What was the distance? Was it from San Salvador to Soyapango, oh. from Ilopango to Santana? From, what was the distance? Uh, around the two... Two hours? Yes, two hours. The from Colonia San Benito at, uh -huh. at Santa Ana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And especially Los Chorros, you know, you usually find traffic. No. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, it can be very horrible. Very yeah. horrible. <laughs> so, I mean, like uh if if you think that traffic is bad during the week, imagine Saturday at 1 p.m. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> really, really bad. Yep. Okay. All right. Let me visit another room and then we go back to the main session. Okay.
Hi, hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. Uh, we saw that uh, you text something in the WhatsApp group uh, that we need to return to the. Yeah, I think I wrote one more minute. I think, did I? Let me check this here. All right. Anyway, oh no, I was talking with uh with Yvette because she says I left Zoom by mistake. So I told her to come back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, it, it, it's time to change the activity. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, any questions on how to respond questions um uh, in the simple past tense? So remember, there are 12 tenses. When you finish mastering the 12 tenses, your fluency is going to be uh, really good. All right, now let's talk about a little bit about your hands. What do you do with your hands? Give me some of the examples of the activities you do with your hands. I comb my hair. You comb your hair, good. What else? I like Eat, cook, cook, wash, drive, wash what? Wash dishes, wash dishes, clothes, the hands, the hair, the hair, brush your teeth. So your hands are very, very, extremely important. Yes, your hands are like. You know, your hands are your hands. Your hands yes. don't have a price. <laughs> okay, so your hand, how many fingers do you have in your hand? Five. 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 What are the names of the fingers? What are the names? I don't know. This is pinky. 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 Ring. Thumb. Ring. Middle. Ring. Okay. Middle. Index. And Index. thumb. Thumb. So one more time. Thumb. Top. Index, yes. middle, middle, ring, ring, and pinky. 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 Right. So there are five names. How do you say uñas in English? Nails. 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 And, and what are the names of these lines here? Those are lifelines. 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 Life yes. So supposedly when you go to certain places, say, show me your hand. And they read your life, supposedly, uh -huh. you know, like, oh, this line it's indicates line. that, uh, you know. It's a liar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but many people believe in that. So anyways, um, so you have your hand, your fingers, you got nails, you got your lifelines. How do you say puño in English? How do you say primero? Fist. 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 So if you want to say primero, you say first, first with an R. First. If you yeah. want to say puño, you eliminate letter R and you say fist. 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 Okay, fist. good. Okay. So you said uh, Bill Gates has a fist full of money, right? A fist full of money. Michael Jordan has a fist full of money. So, okay, so let me show you this. Uh, is this the one? Teacher. Yep. And how do you say puñetazo? Uh, this is another form. You hit someone with your, well, if, you, if you're talking okay. about this part of your, of your hand, you say knuckles or you punch them. He punched them on the nose. He punched them on the face. Mm, okay. okay. So where is this? Um, my God, I was going to. Where are these questions? My goodness. Do you get butterfly in your stomach? Where is this? Where is this? Uh -huh. Oh my God. Let me see it. I think I had it here. Give me a second. Okay, right there. I'm gonna send them to your, to the WhatsApp chat. And there is a, a question 
related with your hands. Now remember that some parts of the body are included when you're using idioms. What if I tell you, give me a hand? What's the meaning of that? Give me a hand. Uh-huh. What's the meaning of that? Help me. Help me. Help me. Exactly. Give me a hand. Okay. So let me see this here. Breakout rooms. Recreate. Recreate. You're going to speak with someone different. And we're going to move this person here. And everybody has a partner. Here we go. If you don't understand any of the questions, please let me know. Jorge Diaz, can you hear me?
okay. We we asked yes. ask the teacher about what's about, the question? <laughs> um yeah, about the second question. Do you like things that are hand painted? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, we talked about that I I don't know how do you say the hair bordar. Okay, that is a uh, weave. Weave. Yes. Weave, like. W E A V E. Weave. Weave, like. No, that's a wave. No. wave. That's different. Okay. Wave. Okay. It, it's the spelling is is similar, but mm -hmm. pronunciation is very different. So you weave. say weave. Okay. Weave. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you mm -hmm. spell, spell that? Sure. Please? Right now. It's W E A V E. V A V E. Okay. Weave. Uh huh. Weave. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, and we talked about the manualidades. Craft. That. Craft. It's okay. It's craft. craft. Okay. Yep. Craft. Craft. Yes. Uh, made, made for hands. Made by hands. Made, ah, by, made hands. by hands. Or you okay. say handmade. 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 Hecho a mano. Handmade. Oh, okay. Handmade. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are many, many products that are handmade. Yes. Good mm -hmm. products. Yep. Good products. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Good products. Yes. Any other questions or comments? Okay, the number four. Number four? Do you have a good handshake? Yeah. Nice to meet you. My name is Francisco. This is a handshake. Okay, handshake. But with the pandemic, people say, don't handshake. Yes. Only like this. Only, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So that is handshake. Okay. okay thanks. All right. Thank Do people ever ask? Do people ever ask you to give them a hand? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's 10 o'clock already. Any questions or comments about today's session? It was good. All right, good. I like it. Nice. So I remember. Teacher, I have yeah. a question. Yes, Rose. The seven, the seven, uh, I don't. What I don't does know. it mean if someone calls you a safe pair of hands? Okay, what's the meaning of safe pair of hands? Confident, uh, oh. trust someone. Yeah. What's meaning? Yeah, when you're a confident. Um, so, so I will say, uh, Rose, I'm gonna tell you a secret, but don't tell anybody. I trust you because you're a safe pair of hands. Okay. Mm -hmm. Confidence. Yeah. Teacher. Yes, sir. What is the meaning of craft and what is the, the pronunciation? Craft. What, what is craft, people? <coughs> Manualidades. Handcrafted. Handcrafted. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Hands on learning. What number? Nine. 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 What experience do you have on hands? What What experiences do you have on hands on learning? Yes, like uh, what have you learned to do with your hands? Like, can you make shoes? Can you saw things? I mean, things that are designed or made by your hands. Play piano. Any other questions, comments? No. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for this hour that you're dedicated to your uh, self-improvement. And we continue Monday, same place, same time. Have a good weekend.
Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. Bye. Tomorrow. Good night. Monday. No classes tomorrow. No tomorrow is Friday. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> then next Sunday. Yeah. Well, you can come, Monday. but I won't be here. <laughs> Teacher, okay. how do you say tamal de lote? Oh, uh, thanks. Co corn tamale. <laughs> corn tamale, as it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. Corn tamale, yes. Thanks. Thank All you. right, good night. Okay. Good night. Bye. Bye. Teacher. Yes. And when you are you you are uh, doing exercise in a uh -huh. field. How, oh, how do you say oh in a gym? No, in like a campo or like a field. Field. If uh -huh. it's green, field. if it's green mm -hmm. and it has grass, it's field. If it's concrete like basketball or volleyball, you say court. Okay, court. Or field. Or field. Uh -huh. But uh, you ever seen the the in Universidad del Salvador Polideportivo. Uh -huh. Yep, yep. Eh, de, 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 that's a field. Donde se corre. No. Oh, that's the track. Es, Pista. Yeah, that track. 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 Yes. Cafetalón okay. has a track for people to run. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, track. Okay, thanks. All right. Good yeah. night. Good night. Bye.